Good morning, everyone. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options coming to you with the morning market preparation video for March 1st, 2018. Well, doggone it, I was really kind of hoping uh, that we would hold on to the 50 day moving average on these indexes, but that wasn't to be, you know, the mark, nobody called me and asked me for my opinion. And that's why we trade with rules. Rules always trump your emotions, your feelings, your hope. And if we choose to stand and fight against the market, as retail traders, we will lose. The market will always win out. So what we have to do as traders is we need to make sure we're following a good set of rules. Make sure we're holding on to our edge in the market. And unfortunately, that edge that looked like we could gain a little bit on yesterday, if we would have hold, held above the 50 day moving average, um, failed us as those bears came running back in with a full on frontal attack, driving the market lower. Now, one good thing is that the Dow itself managed to hold above 25,000. That 25,000 is kind of an important psychological uh, number for the market. Just having broke above, um, you know, that last year and wanting to hold on to that big round number. Unfortunately, this morning, the futures are pointing to a 100 point gap down. Um, or at least more than a 100 point gap down, which unfortunately is going to uh, breach that 25,000 level. Um, first thing this morning, um, kind of a bummer, kind of a bummer to see us failing the 50 day moving average and really putting in a, a pattern. This is a technical pattern. Um, it was it was actually coined by a trader by the name of David Elliott, an, an absolutely brilliant trader. Um, he called this a blue ice failure pattern when we fail the 50 day moving average. And the blue ice failure pattern is nothing more than a drop through the 50 day moving average, a rally back up to kind of test. And we did cross back above test above that 50 day moving average. And then that failure at the 50. Um, gives us the possibility of a retest of this February low. Um, that is truly not what we, any of us probably want to see or even think about. But technically, when you look at the chart, that's what the chart is showing us now. We do have a little bit of a, if we were to mark this out, a little bit of a trend here and it, you know anything is possible when the market is this volatile we could bounce to, um, and come right back up here or remain in this little range right in here the pulling back into this area catching support somewhere between these two levels is possible here on the Dow and if we can hold a higher low that would be a bullish thing if we can hold a higher low. And that'll be the question. If we fail through here, look out below guys, be really careful and cautious. If we drop through this level, it could get brutal really, really quickly. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY also giving up the 50 day moving average yesterday, dropping back through it, but not as severely as the Dow did possible bounce back up could still be in play but with the futures pointing to a um, you know substantial decline here um, as well this morning that follow through needs to be bought up for fairly quickly by the bulls we need a, those bulls to come in and defend and hopefully they will now we do have a couple little support levels here we first have this level right in here that could provide a little bit of support and and i mean a little bit of support um and then our major level would be between these two points you know in in the market so a little bit of extra support right there so we could see us pull down there again if we drop through that level if we fall through there, watch out for a really quick move to retest the February lows. Um, the Qs, 
still are looking pretty good. The Qs, you know, challenged that double top high. Now we are showing the potential of that full on failure of a double top high. We need to catch some support in here pretty quickly. Um, that support could come, you know, right along this, this area right here. Could certainly come along this area and hold it. We could hold right along this area right in here. That would also be okay if we catch that higher low and potential bounce. The good thing here in the queues is that we're still holding on to a trend of sorts. So we need those bulls to step in and defend this pretty quickly or we could lose um, you know, all this bullishness in the queues as well. IWM, IWM, this poor index has just been sick uh, and it remains sick. Rallying up into resistance, breaking through that 50 day moving average temporarily and now sinking back through. It's already giving up some important levels of support. Um, we do have this level right here that we could catch some support on and hopefully it does otherwise i would suspect um, a retest of the february lows here in iwm and the way this is actually set up um, even possibly lower so uh, that would be unfortunate so let's hope those bulls come in they have a battle plan to um, get us back um, on the right side of things but i gotta be honest um, conditions right now the technical conditions right now are not good for that um, you know just simply draw some trend lines we are now in a confirmed downtrend here in iwm we are in a confirmed downtrend in the diamonds the spy um, so pretty ugly um, overall now let's take a quick peek at the VIX the VIX bounced off of that 50-day moving average if you remember a few couple days ago anyway I was talking about the importance of this support level in here and the possibility that we could bounce off of that support level well that's what we absolutely did bounced off that 50-day moving average and we're back on the rise here just below 20 handles on the vix that means volatility is on the rise fast price action very quick reversals potentially even violent price moves are are possible so be real careful remember as swing traders we have very little edge in a market like this because no matter how quick you are as a swing trader that and unless you want to trade intraday those quick reversals can you know you can have a beautiful signal to enter a trade to have it completely reversed in minutes hours or you know before the end of the day just a complete reversal of that nice pattern so be very very careful remember to hold on to your edge if we take a look at t21 22 t21 22 is suggesting we are back down here toward that bearish or, or excuse me bullish reversal zone so we can go lower so the gap down this morning could bring us down in here and we could actually see a little bit of a relief bounce in here but remember if we don't catch and hold on to those support levels this won't matter much at all we'll just keep continue to sink so we need to catch around those support levels and hang on in the market or we've got some trouble ahead um i wish i had better news to report but that's the fact of the matter looking at the charts we we are now officially confirmed downtrend and that downtrend means how does the downtrend get made um, we make lower highs followed by lower lows so that is certainly in the cards here. I hope we can catch a little higher low here, create more of a price wedge, and start working ourselves out of this. But um, for now, we have to go with what the chart is showing us and the absolute possibility that we can retest these lows and possibly even breach lower. So protect yourself and be careful. Let's take a look um, at the um, economic calendar day there's a bunch on the calendar today that could move us around with the market being volatile like it is um 
uh, get rid of that. On the Thursday calendar here, we're looking at jobless claims this morning. Those are expected to stay pretty good, um, about 230K is I think what they're expecting. Um, personal incomes and outlays could give us a little bit of a clue on inflation. Um, I think we're looking at um, rising numbers here is what the expectations are in the consensus. Uh, PMI manufacturing comes after that. It's expected to see a little rise. ISM also expected to see a little bit of a rise. Construction spending expected to see a little rise. Take note of this today. Our new Fed chairman, Jerome Powell, will be speaking at 10 a.m. to the Senate uh, Banking Committee. Uh, remember, the market is kind of sensitive to, to our new um, Fed chair. Whatever he says will kind of be hanging on every word here for a while. So um, uh, don't be surprised to see a little bit of a violent price action around here if he happens to make a misstep in a statement. Um, says something uh, that alludes to the fact of um, inflation or additional um uh, interest rate rise um, hikes um, and then we have um, Dudley speaking here um, at 11 o'clock so lots going on today on the earnings calendar over 225 companies reporting today that means um, lots of volatility could be possible they could swing us back and forth so watch that carefully as you're planning your day make sure you're checking those earnings reports all right Everyone, I want to wish you a fantastic day. If you've noticed that my voice sounds a little bit different, it is true. I, I picked up some software to try and improve the sound of my microphone, and that's made things just a little bit different. Um, nothing, nothing other than that, though. It's nothing fancy, just trying to improve the sound. Everyone, have a fantastic day. And if this is the first time you've seen this information, please do me a favor. Click those subscribe buttons, the follow me buttons. Um, I really appreciate it. F always feel free to be able to share this video with any friends and family that you um, might think could uh, have, get some benefit from it. Everyone take care. I wish you great profits and I will talk to you all very, very soon. Bright and early Friday morning.